Hello and welcome to our workshop update. As you can see my camera's uh, decided to come back to life. It turns out it was the memory card messing up. So I deleted all the stuff and it decided to work again. I had to format the card. Uh, so anyway, I've been working on the Primus 632 today. Uh, I had to make a new plunger for that, out of a bit of lever. So I thought I'd see if it would start up. I've already lit me Bladen, I think I can't remember the model of it, B62, main Birmingham, petrol blow lamp. So. so, what I'm going to do is use this one to light the paraffin one. So, meth's in the font there. So, I'll leave that one just tick over. Well, very handy. This is my sort of working blow lamp, you see it's not very clean, but it's uh, a lot hotter than the paraffin one. So that ain't quite lighting very well. There we go. Yeah, well, I shut that one off now. Well, anyway. Today, uh, well, 9 o'clock this evening, Crank Up Chris turned up, and uh, he brought his... Mr. D. If you watch his videos, you would have seen uh, the work he'd done on it, which is quite good. So, uh, because he got, I don't know, is it two Lister D's now, two more, he decided to sell this one to me. I only paid £10 for it, so I didn't think that was quite a bad deal, really. It's missing quite a few bits, it's going to take a bit of time to rebuild, so I'm going to call it uh, a bitzer, if you've heard that phrase before. It means made out of many different parts from different engines so yeah there's a bit to do um, if you're on the stationary engine forum you will you've probably seen Steve V12 round well he told me that this engine was made in late 1943 so uh, on Monday I'm gonna be sending a letter to David Edgington to see what he says about it he should tell me what it was used for like this one was sent to Alfred Laval on a milking plant by 1957. Yeah, well don't worry about the blow lamp being on top near the fuel tank because the fuel tank is completely bone dry. So, Well, also in there there's the rockers, the exhaust flange and a few other bits. I haven't got the rocker shaft, the push rods, the mag, but I have got another Lucas SR1, like, like I may have, you, well, you may have seen it when I was doing my Petter A11 updates, because I got given two magnetos by my uncle and a carburetor, so I got two Lucas SR1s. Once finished, it, the casting broke on the mag, so it was well corroded. They, uh, the three things, the carburetor and the two mags, were in the uh, scrap heap for over a year, so can't really expect much more. I put the cowling on the Petter AVA1 sat it in the corner now at the way. If I stand outside the shed you can see quite a bit of room in there now. I will be having my Allen scythe down next week. Next weekend hopefully if the weather's right. Um, yeah. Looks quite a lot bigger with the cowling on. Well sort of double the size almost. The cowling always makes the engine look bigger. Yeah, so that should be nearly ready to light up at the minute. I will be getting another one of these, uh, not the same one. Can't remember the model. I bought it off eBay. Eleven o'clock this morning for one pound nine p. I think it's a paraffin one. Buying it off uh, for a member Statman. Yeah, so we'll see if we can light this up now. Pain in the ass when you've got no. Have to light this one up again, I think. It's 
trying to vaporize. Just don't think it's quite hot enough yet. This one has gone cold now, so. I don't know with that one, it keeps blocking up all the time the jet. Seems to be every time you go to use it, it goes to block up. This is only a little tiny flame in there. Um, let's see what this does. Oh well, I'll see if I can get it going in a second. There he is. Just need the jet cleaning out again. So I blew the whole thing out, got rid of all the rubbish. <coughs> yeah, it's turned the light out, isn't it? do a video, like a proper starting video on it, sometime, like how to start. I'll just put the camera down a second. Oh, shit. Here I have a soldering iron for the uh, blow lamp that goes on there. You heat that up and then you can solder with it. Yeah, so I'll shut it down now. Yeah, so a bit happy about my camera not well completely being finished but uh, so that's alright well thanks for watching <laughs>